Welcome back in this new video uh, where I talk about Ubuntu. Uh, obviously, this is uh, the virtualization is not very fast like the uh, Ubuntu when you can install on uh, your workstation. However, today I want to show you how to install some software and how to create the pipeline for uh, uh, VFX artist. In if you use uh, Ubuntu you can use, for example, some software like uh, the SideFX Houdini. Houdini is very good for all the distro in uh, Linux. It's very easy for install, it's very fast, and um, you can find more, uh, more easy for, for to use it. Uh, the difference in uh, Ubuntu is very good for, for example, and is very stable and is very easy to to install. Uh, if you want to use, for example, Maya, is the alternative 3D software from uh, Blender. It's uh, a, a little difference, and uh, is not recommended use Ubuntu. You can install uh, Maya on Ubuntu, but is uh, a, a little uh, hard to the the the, the road for <laughs> for install. And uh, only the support distribution is uh, the CentOS and uh, Fedora or Red Hat Enterprise. Red Hat is the payment version. CentOS is the free version uh, created by uh, Red Hat. And uh, Fedora is the, another free version of Red Hat. So it's very easy to uh, install Maya and use Maya on Red Hat uh, distribution. So, in today I show you how to install Houdini inside Ubuntu. The first step is get Houdini. Houdini, you can go on the sideeffects.com website, you can click get and download. And today, and download direct in Linux, or you can direct uh, download the daily buildings, okay? But important is download the Linux version. Uh, I today I show you how to install the uh, ed educational version, but is the same process for commercial version without the difference. With the difference, it's the uh, the code, the the key, the, um, the number of the the license. However, when you can start the load, you can download and you can find show download. Okay, in the download folder of Houdini, in the load folder of uh, Ubuntu, and uh, you can find here the this file. This file is dot tar dot gz. It's the zip of for for Linux system. Okay, you can extract this file, and uh, it's very easy for uh, extract this file. You can uh, extract with uh, the terminal or with uh, the manual operation you can uh, go here and extract here okay it's very easy my ubuntu here is uh, quite different because here the appearance is different because i reduced the, my launch bar and i changed the desktop only for this but uh, usually it's the, the same Okay, you can, for example, extract here from here, or for example, you can jump inside the download folder. For jump inside the load folder, from here, if I press, for example, ls, you find all, all folder you see from the, the user, okay, from the root of a user. So I use the command with a cd, and you can select, this folder and say oh this is problem because okay very fast is that and go to home you can see cd you can drag this is the complete path okay you can say the complete path for example if i want to come back cd slash home slash material and come back up but it's very fast, you can ls, you can say cd 
slash home slash bla 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 but uh, I give this command before I can press the arrow up and I can choose this okay I am jump inside ls and I find two file one is my image of desktop and one is my tar okay I can extract the, the tar for extract the tar I write tar minus x U Z F and I can select and press the middle mouse of button of uh, my mouse and press enter and this is extract the file I can go here and see the create the folder and extract all files okay it's finished and I can jump inside this folder for jump inside this folder I say cd cd and drag this folder here okay okay inside this folder I find this kind of uh, uh, file and there is more uh, one uh, uninstall one install one uh, install the export etc etc is very easy because now I can say sudo dot slash and the install will be this okay and press enter he's asking me the password gamma okay. uh, sorry I, I write <laughs> Bad. okay and start to installation sudo is the super user super user is the user for install all expect all tools all and for make some operation some particular operation is the super user inside uh, the Linux if you don't know the password you can do more operation like super user okay you can read you can press enter Okay, do you agree? Yes. Okay, not the application we like to me. Yes. Now here you can choose, for example, if you want to uh, install the desktop for uh, Houdini. Yes. Commercial version. Yes. Or the apprentice version. No. You can say, hey, I want the apprentice version number three. You can set free press enter I can change in UIT yes I can finish with F and you can say hey uh, where you do you want to install install in this folder is create the folder yes it's okay press enter create folder yes create folder is successful you want to start the installation yes Okay, now he's open uh, the wizard for licensee. Okay, okay, next. Okay, I accept. Okay, install, close. Okay, it's uh, installed, so now I can go here and say Houdini, and I find Houdini. Okay, Houdini Apprentice, for example, and you can run it. It's open, and can I use it without problem? This is uh, the same uh, step you can do, for example, on CentOS, on Fedora, and etc. Et it's the same for all kind of system of Linux.